subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon so that you never miss an update. Continuous monitoring is a valuable tool that helps provide additional information to the medical and nursing staff about the physiological condition of the patient. Using this information, the clinical staff can better evaluate a patient's condition and make an appropriate treatment decision and is used to treat a wide range of patient conditions. Let us see the principle of operation. Physiological monitors can be configured, modular or both. Configured monitors have all the capabilities already built in. Modular system features individual modules for each monitoring parameters or a group of parameters. These modules can be used in any combination with each bedside monitor or it can be interchanged from monitor to monitor. Some physiological monitoring systems have capabilities of both modular and configured systems. With these monitors, frequently used parameters such as ECG are configured to the monitor. Monitoring data is collected, some central stations will beginning to send the information to the patient's electronic media record, that is the EMR. Operating steps the Receivers are connected to the bedside monitors and central monitors. Some central monitoring stations can be networked so that the patient's wave can be simultaneously displayed at multiple locations within the hospital. Some telemetry systems are receivers to be connected to a bedside monitor or to be used on the central station network as hardwired bedside monitors. This allow the clinicians to view a patient's ECG and other monitored information at the bedside and at the central station. Reported problems Central monitors may exempt hospital personnel to pay more attention to a equipment than to the patient connected to it. Even monitors that are functioning reliability cannot substitute for the frequent direct observation. Frequent false positive alarms can cause alarm fatigue and result in clinical staff missing critical patient events like low oxygen saturation levels. Let us see the central monitoring system of Philips IntelliView. The Philips IntelliView uses HL7 parameter data interface that is PDI. It is a software option available for the information center system. This interface system provides a gateway between a Philips CareNet network or IntelliView clinical network and a TCPIP hospital network. The message transmission between PDI and the client system can be taken place via the unsolidated message interface or the pooling interface. These two interfaces are completely independent from each other, although both can be used simultaneously. Communication layers The following diagram shows the communication layers involved in the communication between the HL7 parameter data interface and a client computer. You can see the parameter interface and the client computer interface. So there are HL7 messages, then HL7 low level protocols, then TCP IP, and there, then there is a network interface, then IP network, then it goes to the client computer, the same things are over there. Each client uses a TCP IP socket connection for PDI communication. PDI allows multiple connections but only one connection at one time to a particular client machine as identified by IP addresses. The HL7 messages are sent at a fixed intervals depending on the type of the data they include. Periodic parameters are sent every 5, 10, 30 or 60 seconds depending on the sending interval configuration setting.